again folks. This is the end result of the very latest Meccano Engineering and Robotics Excavator. Now there are a few little niggles, but that's overstating them really. None of which really stop you building the build. One part of the instructions make you think and look and it's very hard to see, but we got there. Features wise, well you can raise the bucket like that, like that, go all the way up. Nothing to hold it in place though, if you're only partially the way up. The bucket's quite away from the pivot, it does mean it's relatively heavy, won't hold really. We've also got this bucket moves as well, pivots there. Obviously it moves forward and back. And on the rear we've got a smaller bucket, which is pretty awkward to show you really, because it's going to stick out a bit, but it will come up like that. The bucket itself will move up and down as well, or in and out. And it will also pull out like that and turn a fair amount. Not fully, but a decent turn there. The reach is really good. I can't get into the shot, it's that good. It probably doubles the length of the model when it's at full stretch. But as you can see, that moves quite nicely and because a lot of these are pivoted by using the plastic nut there and there as long as you don't over tighten these things because you have to cut your own thread as you tighten them for the first time as long as you don't go too heavy with those they're alright for this sort of thing and it means you can adjust it so it does hold plus there's no weight in that bucket whatsoever so overall quite a good amount of play value. We've got a little dummy light on the top there with a orange or opaque orange plastic spacer and it overall is, is really nice. Really nice. It's, it looks a lot chunkier perhaps and a lot more robust and heavy than it actually is. It's certainly robust enough but it is actually quite light. Stage 2, putting these side pieces together here a lot harder to see now it's in built up form if you go onto the mechanozone.com forum you can see separate pictures of the build not the whole build just where it was a little bit more tricky now here you are putting this narrow corner bracket here onto the plastic part here and it's spaced by two washers the washers are not really thick enough and there is a slight bit of distortion there in the side of the corner bracket, just slightly. Doesn't stop you building it, not very neat though. Nothing at all to do with the build, but I just thought I'd point this out. These narrow angle brackets, there's four of them, and I've used loads of these in the last couple of years. They're very useful, but none of them have had the parts number or the mechano stamping on them. These now have, so you can just make out bits of it there and there. Another bit that really doesn't matter but it doesn't look quite so good is the plastic flanged plate here. You've got four bolts holding it in the middle and when they are tightened it does dish the plate part of the flange plate in a little bit. So it doesn't look quite that neat. Right folks, the next little problem wasn't actually anything to do with the build but the instructions. Not that there was anything exactly wrong with the instructions, just the way it was displayed. And it's one I've mentioned before. You get so far in a build, you don't necessarily need to see all the construction up to that point. And this was the case with this build. You were shown all of the construction up to a certain point, which made parts of that image very small. And the problem was this, these chunky plastic strips here with the gear incorporated in the end, the insert is triaxial shaped, and if you have the one side fitted as it is shown, this sort of like castellated rough side showing out which indeed was the case with this side that's fine put the axle in across that isn't a problem now with me when I'm building a lot of Meccano it's symmetrical at least in part so you would think that the chunky strip the other side would fit the same way with the castellated rough side outwards to match the other side but if you do that the sides of the triaxle insert will not line up thus you may have this side with the plastic strip as it is and this side up of it and you need them to be exactly the same both sides. Because it was so small I couldn't work out, I say my eyesight's still pretty good, 
I couldn't work out which way round this one would be. It seemed like an age, I don't suppose it was more than about 10 minutes and I figured it out, just turn it over. So in this part of the build, which is stage 20, you have the castellated rough side outwards on that strip and this side you have it inboard. And there you are folks, that's it. Very decent build all round really, just those couple of little tiny niggles if you like. Build time, about 1 hour 15 minutes. Bye for now.